Hi, welcome back. All right, picking up where we left off in the last lesson, we're going to continue working with key maps. Now, in the last lesson, we used the MIDI keyboard to enter various notes. So here again, we've got the our tempo blocks on the concert band instrument. But perhaps, let's say you don't have a MIDI keyboard available, or you prefer just to work with uh, just your standard keyboard. There's a few ways we can go about getting the same sounds without using a MIDI keyboard. Um, first, let's we could just press E on the keyboard. So there's not actually any sounds mapped to that. If we come up here, uh, this is in the Properties window. It can be found at Window, Properties. Mine's already open. Then you'll need to select the drop-down menu here and choose note head number one. That's going to give me this tempo block sound. There we go. So let's select eighth notes using my notepad. If I come here, press G. Do the same thing. One. Let's go ahead and press a B, then a D, and then an F. And it's going to continue to ascend up. So I'm actually going to hold down Shift and select all of these. Come up here and make these all one. All right, cool. Now, if we're actually wanting to do that without using the mouse at all, we can do most of this using the keyboard. There, so there's actually a keyboard shortcut for entering uh, different note head numbers. So let's go ahead and enter the rest of these. We have a D then a B, then a G. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, select all of these, because I'm wanting all these to be uh, temple blocks. Now, if you hold down Shift-Alt on a Windows machine, or Shift-Option if you're on a Mac like I am, and then using the top row of numbers on your keyboard, if I just press 1 while holding that down, it'll actually shift all those to the proper note head. So if I was to enter, say, uh, four, it'll change those to four, but not, I'm not wanting that. Those don't really actually make any sound in this particular instrument. So holding down Shift Alt or Shift Option, press one, that'll give you those particular sounds. So that pretty much covers it for this lesson. In the next lesson, we'll actually be covering the idea of right and left hand note entry using the drum set part. So stick around, we'll see you next time.